Hi, I'm Jared and I'm on the product team at Field Pulse and we're going to walk through some summer updates. Formula-based quantities are the newest feature in Field Pulse that will allow you to calculate the accurate number of materials needed for a job. So if you're ever calculating something like the number of downspouts needed for the gutters, or the size of a garage door, or maybe how much paint's needed for a bedroom, or the square footage you need for tile or for turf, formula-based quantities are your friend. So today, if you're pulling out your calculator, jotting down the math on a piece of paper, or doing it in your head, you really risk an accurate estimate and your customers end up paying the wrong thing, or your office ends up ordering the incorrect number of materials. So in Field Pulse, you can now do all of this on the fly on estimates and invoices. So to get set up, you can go to estimates and invoices in your company settings and formula-based quantities. For today's example, I'll just do one called rock layer. Maybe I'm working in landscaping and I need a certain number of like crushed gravel to go underneath the rocks or the turf. And over here, you can enter in different variables. Variables would be things like the square footage, the size of a wall. So in this example, I'll do length and I'll keep it simple and do width. And I can drag it over here to create a formula and I can multiply it, divide, subtract, I can add parentheses to make sure things get multiplied correctly. And something that's really valuable is that we also offer fixed values. So think of fixed values like a constant. So if you always have a waste factor, maybe 15% every time you order tile, you can include that here as well. And this is a number that the technician cannot edit. So I'm done creating my formula. I'll go in and just enter some test values here to make sure the math calculates correctly and looks like it is. And once I save this, you won't have to do it for every single job, but you can do it once in your company settings and then apply it to estimates and invoices. So imagine I'm out in the field, and in this case, I'm going to add an item. I'll just pick one at random. You can do this on the mobile application as well. Once you add it to your estimate or invoice, you can click edit and then select this quantity icon right here, and you can see all the different formulas you've created. So you can see here, I've created several before. I'll select the one we just created called rock layer. And you can see it right here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm the technician in the field and I'm saying, this is the measurement I just took. So maybe 10 feet for the length, 15 feet for the width. And there's that constant that I can't edit. And right there, it tells me, this is how much of the material I need to add. And I can insert that quantity. Now you might be wondering, every house is different. Every yard is different. Everything's not a perfect rectangle, so how can I come up with a formula that works for every single house or for every single customer? So you'll notice whenever we add an item, let's add a new one right here, and I want to edit that formula. So right here, maybe the, like the yard has multiple sides, so it's not just width times height, but it could be three widths or four heights. What you can do here is click on this edit icon, and you can update the formula on the fly. That way you don't have to create a formula that works for every single possible scenario. If you're working with projects that have multiple jobs, we've added a new feature just for you. So if you head over to the projects page, you're probably familiar with the Gantt chart view that shows all of the projects you have working right now. The only thing is that you can't really see the dependencies between the jobs within each of those projects. So we've added a new Gantt view right here called Job Gantt. Clicking on this allows you to see for a month at a time all of the different projects that are in flight and all of the jobs beneath those. You might have five projects and between those five projects, you could have 15 jobs that are all being worked on at a single time. So now you can quickly see the dependencies, where they overlap on the timeline, hover over them to click on all the details. So right here, you'll see rooftop installation is the project. And then maybe you have two phases that I use jobs to represent. So in this case, the post installation and then the installation phase are two different jobs that belong to the same project. This is just an easy way to stay organized and quickly view what you have coming up for the week. Fieldpulse has recently partnered with Acorn Finance to help you offer additional consumer lending options to your customers. Historically, you might be used to having to go through a really lengthy and involved process in order to offer consumer financing options. But now with Acorn, once you go to company settings and field pulse and turn it on, you're good to go. You don't have to go through an approval process or get permission or apply as a merchant or anything like that. So enable it from company settings. And then whenever you go to estimate or invoice, you can offer consumer financing. Let's walk through an example. So I've created this estimate previously and it has a total of $4,330. Acorn can do financing between $1,000 all the way up to $100,000. So it's a really good way to 
offer add-ons to your customers. And if they see this financing option, they might be more likely to spend more money which increases the average job size for you and your team. And you can, by the way, also add these options to invoices, but typically you're gonna to wanna to let the consumer know from the get-go that financing is an option because it might help them accept the estimate in the first place. So if we go to an estimate and send it just like normal, and we include a payment request, you'll see this option right here that defaults to on once you have it enabled for your account to offer financing through Acorn. What you'll notice here in this preview is that there is an option for the customer to click or scan a QR code if it's on a PDF form rather than the dynamic version. It'll say right here, from $94 a month, you can get financing. The nice thing about this is that consumers can also qualify for even more money. So for this example, it's about $4,300. They might have great credit score and it could come back and say, hey, you actually qualify with those same terms for $6,000. And they will come back to you and say, hey, actually I want that nicer option. I wanna do the add-on. I wanna spend a little bit more money and get a little bit more involved with this project. You'll still get paid the exact same way. Acorn doesn't deposit money into your bank account as a business. Acorn gives money directly to your customer. So we have this estimate right here for $4,300. And let's say I'm purchasing a, uh, a new water heater and I need some help financially. I would get this estimate and I can accept it. And then I'll click the get started button through Acorn. And then me as the customer, I'll enter in you know, my address, my credit score, all of that type of information. And then Acorn and their lenders will actually deposit money directly into my bank account. And then I will pay you, the contractor, the exact same way before. I could still pay with credit card, I could pay with cash, I could pay ACH. But the lenders deposit the money directly into the consumer's account. So you will still always get paid the exact same way and you won't have fees deducted from Acorn. So in this case, if I got a loan for 4330 and that's exactly what Acorn puts in my bank account, I'm still gonna pay you that exact same amount. So it's a very low risk feature and a really high reward in that you can offer a lot of different lending options in a really simple way without any friction for your business. We've made a few new improvements to deposits within Field Pulse. So if you use QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop, this feature will be perfect for you. If you collect any type of deposit or partial payment within Field Pulse, this is a really great way to switch from cash basis to accrual basis accounting. So if you're familiar, previously in Field Pulse, if you were to collect a partial payment on an estimate or an invoice, what would happen is that money just goes into QuickBooks into whatever account you designated within QuickBooks from the very beginning. But let's say you collect 50% down payment for all of your invoices and your estimates. You might not wanna recognize that money as revenue until 100% of that project is completed and you've realized the rest of that revenue. Previously, you couldn't do this, or if you did, it would get really messy for your bookkeepers and accountants. So what you'll notice now is once you enable this feature from company settings and you're connected to QuickBooks, if you're on an estimate and you want to send it out, you can still request a partial payment like you did previously. So I could say include a payment request and then maybe I only want to do a 50% down payment and then I could click send. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to create a manual payment to replicate a deposit. So what you'll do here is click on the deposit button and I'll just enter in a random amount such as $150 and I'll click save. What we'll notice happens is immediately this estimate is converted into two different invoices. Previously, it would only be converted into one. Now open these separately into two different tabs so we can view them. So what you'll notice on this first invoice is that it's only gonna have an item called deposit item. And you can name this item whatever you want, but it'll be mapped to a specific item within QuickBooks. So that way it can be mapped to the liability account. So you'll see here that I have deposit test. Again, you could call it whatever you want. And all that's on this invoice is that deposit amount. And then you'll notice it also simultaneously creates the invoice that actually has all the line items for the customer is gonna be paying. And it still has that deposit item here, but with a negative value. So this, once it gets collected as invoiced and then payments collected on that final invoice, QuickBooks will recognize that 100% of the invoice has been paid. And now the deposit item that was in the liability account will move over into realized revenue. There's a few small updates we made to estimates and invoices on the PDF versions that we're really excited to walk through. So now in company settings, if you go to estimates and invoices and you go to the very bottom, we'll have a few new options for you to customize the font size. You can do eight, 10, 12, 
14 and 16, but it was one of the most commonly requested features we had from our customers. And so we want to stay at a customizable platform for you. And sometimes it helps make the readability and scannability much easier. One other small but important update we've recently made to estimates and invoices are providing an option for every time you send them out to have a BCC field. This is also one of our top requested features of the past year, so we're excited to be announcing it. If you go to any estimate invoice or really anywhere in the application that you can send email communication, you'll now notice this field. So in this example, I'll click send to customer, and then you'll notice a BCC field to blind carbon copy someone onto the email. You could copy a manager, some stakeholder, one of your colleagues, or you can click this icon right here to select someone who is an additional contact on that customer. Maybe it's a really long-term project and there's 10 different contacts and you just need the superintendent or the supervisor, whoever it might be, to stay informed that you are sending estimates or invoices on time. You can do that here. We have five new updates to our Engage phone application. You might notice things look a little different in the application and we'd love your feedback on it. Icons are different, action menus look different, the overall interface has been refreshed. We spent some time listening to your feedback and modernized the way the application looks, feels, put certain actions front and center, change the information architecture by looking at what common actions you and your colleagues typically take and putting them at the forefront. So you'll notice small things like these icons, these action menus, we added options in there, we added a way to add tags to conversations, to calls, voicemails, and customers. You can see these here. These function just like tags in our main application. These are a great way to specify you know, some attribute about a customer, or you can also do it on a call to say, hey, this was a really great call, this was really a bad call, this person speaks a different language, whatever you want. You also notice here that we added in the conversation menu a way to mark all messages as read. Sometimes you'll get back from a day off and you'll have 10 new conversations and you don't have time to go through them or maybe someone else already contacted those customers. You can mark them all as read in bulk and we'll warn you and all the icons saying that they're unread will go away. We've recently added call hold to mobile. So you've been able to put calls and callers on hold on the web application for quite some time, but we'll have a new option now on mobile to put someone on hold and then open up that hold queue to prioritize those different calls and hop between them. So if you're on the phone with a customer, you'll notice this pause icon here that you can click, puts the caller on hold, and then there'll be a green button at the bottom that allows you to view all of the calls that are on hold. And opening those, it'll show you one call, two calls, three calls. Hopefully you're not talking to more customers than that at once, but it'll have an icon right next to it where you can switch between talking to Jack or between talking to Jill. Very straightforward, works just like it does on the web application, but will be really handy for your technicians in the field. Last but not least with Engage, we made some updates to the phone tree and the call visualizer. So if you go to phone lines and select a phone line, sometimes you might have it transfer between one number, a second number, or a sequential call ring, and the phone tree gets really out of hand. It's hard to understand exactly how a call is routed between maybe five users to 10 users to 15 potential users. Who can take this call? Who is eligible? So we've made a few updates here. If you go to settings, click on the phone number in question, then expand call flow visualization, you can see exactly how a call is being treated in the platform. For this example, I'll create a new one. So if I click on this phone number right here, and let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's say my call routing is utilizing the phone tree application. I can click on that and I can choose a template or I can start from scratch. And I'll just go ahead and use a pre-created template. And you can quickly see exactly how, from the moment a customer calls your business, where they're gonna be routed to, who they have the opportunity to talk to if someone doesn't answer their phone, and additionally, we have a way for the call menu to be more customizable than before. Previously, it was a more robotic voice and it would be text to speech, but now you can actually record your own audio samples in your own voice to add a personalized touch. To do that, you can add the audio samples from company settings and then to apply them at each step of the phone tree, you can go here and either do text to speech like before or click on audio recording to play it in your voice or one of your colleagues' voices. You can drag and drop each component, say, hey, after this step is completed, I want this to happen instead, assign it to this phone number, or maybe for there to be a message. And I can even choose the different language to select for that message. 
At FieldPulse, we really care about helping your business grow, and that means getting more customers, getting more jobs, working through jobs more quickly, and increasing the average size and revenue all around a job. We're really excited to be announcing Operator AI. If you'd like to learn more about it, you can check out our help center. But Operator AI is really the front line phone AI service that allows you to never miss a call again. So a customer can call in to FieldPulse using Engage, and we can route it directly to an AI voice receptionist that you can completely customize the voice, how it sounds like, what they say, and have it book jobs for you. So that way, if you're asleep, it's emergency hours, people are on vacation, you never have to worry about missing a call again. If you're interested in learning more about these updates, you can always reference our help center. Or if you're interested in using and trying FieldPulse, check out our website and book a demo. Thanks for watching.